Hello, good morning everybody, good afternoon. Ciao Ravi. Hello, ciao, namaste. Ciao, namaste. Okay, Ravi. Ravi Mahamuni is a, is a friend and also a service designer and practitioner. And uh, he, is, uh, uh, he leads the design research at the Tata Consultancy Services in Pune. And uh, he's also pursuing a PhD in service design at the Indian Institute of Technology of Guwahati, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Ravi, you know that I, I was about not to, con to, to connect this morning because uh, we had uh, in, in, in this neighborhood uh, in Milan, we had uh, a blackout for the oh. entire night until one hour ago. And so I was super, super worried. <laughs> I was really afraid not to be able to connect. So I'm really happy to be here now. Good, good, so, yeah. my friend. How is how is life? Yeah, so uh, life is good uh, in this situation as much as what we can uh, do. But uh, um, as we, uh, you know, we are also going through the um, the tough time. I think uh, though in India uh, this COVID nineteen arrived a few weeks later, so it really helped India to prepare ourselves and. Uh, mm, put all the infrastructural things in place. So though the response from the India was considered as the one of the stringent uh, uh, in the world, but that really helped considering the uh, India's population. Um, it was uh, uh, though um, if you um, see currently the number of cases uh, per million, they are the lowest in the world as well as the uh, facilities also are one of the lowest in the world. So in all those things, uh, the ray of hope is that the recovered cases are uh, getting day by day more uh, than the active cases. Though the number is really increasing, the place I am uh, staying currently, that is Pune, is also one of the hotspots where there are a lot of new cases are uh, uh, coming up. But we are hopeful that uh, we will get through this tough time and soon there will be um, good days like the previous one will come soon. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. You also uh, choose a very interesting word to, to tell about the present situation. Let me see if I'm able to pronounce it well, because it is Anika, correct? Yeah. Ani so it, Anika? Yeah, so it can be called Anika or Anicha. So Anicha, Anicha uh, yeah. So anicca means impermanent, so that it tries to say that the things are not permanent. So this word uh, comes from uh, Buddhism, so it's uh, uh, as old as 500 BC. And since then, uh, it tries to uh, communicate the current situation, what we are generally in. So is, is, is it good or not to be uh, in, a, in an impermanent situation? Yeah, so actually uh, it is the, uh, as per the uh, Buddhism philosophy, what is tries to say that uh, whenever you are in good time, don't try to be just uh, uh, enjoying that, but also think that this time will go away. So prepare for the bad time. And whenever you are in bad time, think that this time will also go and the good time will come. So I think this word perfectly applies to our current situation. What do, what do you think, uh, what shall we enjoy from, from the present time? What shall we learn from this uh, temporary yeah. situation? Correct. So actually, initially, uh, I think like everybody, uh, we were also going through the tough time because there were a lot of new rules about the lockdown was coming up every alternate day. But then when you say that, okay, if this is the situation, what we can do? So what I observed in my family as well as uh, with my uh, friends is that people have started being more empathetic. As a designer, we always say that we need to be empathetic. But in normal situation also, people started uh, being more empathetic and showing more concern. So if we take my case, I would have connected 
my friends and uh, relatives in last 2 3 months almost more than what i have contacted in last 5 years that yeah, they you, might be the situation with other yeah but but you have a screen in between you and your friends now correct correct i agree but the uh, the thing is like uh, um it was more appreciated during this tough time when somebody is calling though there is a screen in between but the emotions were getting passed on through this digital screen also yeah but since you 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 really work around the behaviors uh, services technologies emotion what how can we make the best out of these uh, situations that we are living according to your i don't know intuition your work now mm-hmm. what can we do what 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 can we keep with us for the future yeah. correct correct so as actually uh, we always uh, say that the designers are in the business of behavioral change but when the situation like this it's like a crisis uh, jump starts the innovation engine and then we start looking at the creative thoughts and the what really we can change in a meaningful way because just changing the thing is not critical but we have to also see that how we can make it uh, change in a meaningful way so if we consider the good aspects of the current situation so the most important thing is that we can say confidently that earth started breathing again because i think if you see around the uh, birds and the animals i think they started freely roaming apart from that as i was saying people started being more empathetic and concerned and also i think the people got some time to reflect back on them and the important thing lockdown taught us is that what you really need in life with the minimal things you can live uh, very uh, enjoy and happily another small thing what i felt i think it might be the felt by others also is that the people dependency so like uh, the urge of connecting with your friends family and colleague was more during this period but also the realization that there are people who are dependent on you so the uh, daily wager crisis in india i think that shows that though you consciously or unconsciously whether you are aware but there are a lot of people directly or indirectly depends on you i think that sense of you are depending on others and others are depending on on you was really uh, coming out of in this situation so using the uh, behavioral change uh, techniques so uh, i started talking more about uh, instead of saying behavioral change because when we talk about behavior it's like uh, uh, about the people as well as the environment so if we say we have to craft a change because uh, uh, as a designer uh, we cannot change people's behavior we can just create the facilitating condition so i think with that there are a lot of good things which happen i think i we should take it forward using this thing and see that how it can be applied yeah but in fact uh, what you are very very it's very true that uh, our behaviors uh, actually impact on many other people behaviors in fact uh, it's also an economical issue because now uh, recently our mayor uh, pushed us to go back uh, to the to the office uh, because of course we need to get uh, back to uh, to the to the social life uh, but also to in a way to restart the economy which is connected to our normal uh, uh, working life so we go to the bar we go to the restaurant we need to to eat out uh, we need to use the public transportation we consume in the end so without uh, this cons- behavior of consuming we discover it to be very very fragile so on one side that we wish to change as you said to go back to the roots and to be minimal and to go back to a kind of more uh, uh simple lifestyle on the other side we see that as soon as we attempt to do that by choice or by by conditions we generate uh other issues for other people Correct. so we are yeah. all interconnected exactly. exactly it's a bit complicated because on mm-hmm. one side we wish to change on the other side we understand that our change can actually impact in a negative way other people exactly exactly 
So exactly. I think that's where uh, our empathy square, where we talk about that whenever we are designing, how we can really address the concerns of all the stakeholders. So importantly, the uh, service user, service provider, environment, and the society, and the service staff, because they are also one of the important stakeholders. So while designing, how we can really address the concerns of all these uh, uh, four important stakeholders. I agree. Um, but in, in in theory, we all we all want to do that. Yes. In practice, uh, we we yeah, understand yeah. that uh, this goes beyond our will, uh, in a way, if you if you like. And so uh, we need to have. Uh, I mean, uh, we, what I think we all understood is that uh, without an actual uh, intervention from the state, from another entity. Uh, we cannot change our behaviors alone. Yes, not, yes, yes. I mean, uh, otherwise, if we do it, uh, we generate uh, troubles for uh, okay. other situations. Correct. So correct. We, we need to compensate. Uh, it's. A, I think we all understood that changing is a is a very on one side is a very fast. Um, process because i guess that we all did the most uh, uh, rapid uh, digital transformation ever because correct, we all correct, did yeah. it in a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah and, I agree. Uh, on the other side uh, we understand that to really make uh, profound changes uh, uh, that whole system has to change uh, how, how, how is your observatory from uh, your position? Uh, you, you work in a company which is a multinational company, which is a huge yeah. company. Uh, yeah. How's, how do you see this from your perspective? Yeah. So just to uh, talk about the technology uh, revolution. So in TCS, we are uh, having around half million uh, employees. So uh, during this tough situation, so all these half million people were started working from home in just yeah. two weeks time. So this is how the uh, technology can help. But I think we have to understand is that it cannot happen in such a short time unless there are already some processes or human center design or some organizational process are, are already in place. Then you become a resilient for such things. You cannot say that immediately you will able to manage such situation unless you have those uh, processes in place. So I think this is uh, where is a big learning is that if you even uh, look from the healthcare perspective, so even in India, it really exposed our healthcare system when this problem started happening. So it's not only in India, I think all over the world, this was the problem. So in such situation, can we learn from something like a cloud where there is a flexible infrastructure when depending on the demand and supply, it can be really scaled up and scaled up wherever, uh, wherever there is a need. So, so those type of things are uh, really critical. But if we look at now in TCS, our CEO has already announced saying that this crisis has really helped us to expedite the digital transformation. I think you also mentioned it. And now we have, we are saying that as a company by 2025, we want only our 25% employees working in office and spending only 25% of their time. So I think it's a big change. It will really help us to democratize the um, economy. Like currently, most of the offices are in tier one and tier two cities. But now people can start work from the other cities also, uh, as well as the villages also, because coming to office is not the uh, constraint. I think so. This is how the uh, things will uh, change. But it is when these things are happening, I think we have to look at that. That technology is not only the solution. We have to look at the as always. I say that the behavior or the people factor is very important. So in the current situation, if we look at the uh, uh, people and the community, what the problems they are facing, especially from the social. So I really don't like this word as a social distancing. Terrible. I feel that I feel that it's not in this situation. We don't need a social distancing. Actually, we really need a social support. In the tough time, we should be giving a social support. 
and we need a physical distancing actually to uh, restrict this it's not that the uh, social uh, distancing but the social support is very much required and uh, um, i see around that there are lot of enthusiasm in people to help out the people who really have something and they are really ready to give it to the others but when we are uh, looking at this uh, uh, issue not only from a technology perspective i think we have to look at the social uh, mental well being the stress and all what in this duration because you are not used to stay home for long period of time but now it becomes difficult and then uh, you have to also worry about your other stress lot of people are not used to uh, adjust with the uncertainty but now i think they have to so i think and of course the financial thing because i think uh, um, financial thing is very much uh, important uh, and now in india already there were job losses and now this covid uh, situation has really put us on spot and i think there is a lot of need uh, from the government side to uh, look into the policies and all but i think while they will be looking at all the giving the stimulus about the uh, economy and all i think this behavioral angle also uh, needs to be looked at yeah but uh, uh, let's say that as as designers and in particular as service designers we used to say that uh, uh prototyping is key to make yeah. things change yeah. so in a way this situation pushed all of us to prototype uh brand yeah. new behaviors in a very short time and we had no other options so yeah. we had to do it and that's it and by yeah. prototyping and so also doing mistakes making mistakes we actually have learned a lot and uh, so it was a uh, it was a, k- a kind of uh, real test uh, you know and yeah. so also your company but i guess many other company understood that actually it is possible to work from home for much longer than expected i i, I like very much your uh, idea of uh, social support yeah. uh i think it's really uh very nice uh, concept uh, how how do you think we can actually uh provide uh, this uh, social support uh, in changing behaviors in sustaining people with uh, different habits uh pushing people to undertake different habits what is social support uh, yeah. in your so, in your opinion yeah so i think uh, when we talk about the uh, social support what i feel is that the, it has the two uh, important uh, um, uh, aspects to it one is that the though we call it a social support it has that uh, economical support is a very critical thing and the second thing is about the uh, support which talks about that whenever they are in need or the hand holding whatever is required i think will be provided because if you uh, take examples now uh, about the uh, people who are working at the uh, lower strata and they have really lost their job i think doing all other things because how many days you will be providing them the um, groceries and all there is always a limit i think we have to see that what type of job opportunities we can create whether they have those type of skills and then if they don't have how we can depending on their liking how we can do a reskilling for them uh, because i think as we know for any type of behavioral change there are three important things the first one is that the, that person has to be motivated so we can see that how we can motivate them and yeah. i think that is it. the second thing is the creating the ability so ability in the person so unless we see that that person is able to do as well as the there are job opportunities so the environment also needs to be ready for doing those things and this trigger has already happened because they have to feed their family so i think there is no better trigger is required to make this happen so i think uh, we need to see that how we can really do that so i think as a designer i think we always say that the when we want to design something but i think this is the time where we have to even the relook at at our service design processes because if we really want to follow through a rigor it takes time i think in such a crisis need there is a need for rapid service design absolutely 
so that how we can really do it in a fast in a very agile fashion so let me give one example so during this lockdown period when there was a, a, a initial time so they wanted that the people who will traveling across the state there will be pass issued to them and only the genuine people will be allowed but how you can really in short, if at 8 pm policies announced and from tomorrow we have to make that available how we can really do that so so i think this type of things i think we have to also relook at at our uh, service design processes that how we can really do it and also uh, work with uh, the, uh, we always say that there are five types of specifications as part of service design we come and the top come at the are there any policy changes process changes the system what type of interaction and the service case but i think uh, uh, looking at our uh, service design process i think we should really look at the making it faster and also how we can really extract the tacit knowledge because we might not have a time to go out and do a in depth uh, user research so how we can really uh, uh, extract the tacit knowledge from the people and quickly build and as you rightly mentioned that uh, uh, currently the live environment where we the prototyping happen but we have to also look at the how we can do a rapid prototyping of this uh, as part of our rapid uh, service design process and then of course it will be iterative process uh, there is something we might fail uh, we will recover from it and and, and also while doing that uh, we have to look at the um, service failure also but i sure. think this is the time where we need to really relook at at our design processes also yeah we need we need to to learn to learn from failures failures actually teach a lot absolutely uh, but look you you lead the the design uh, research part of uh, tata consultancy uh, what would be the first uh, uh, new project you would like to start once you will be back to let's say a new normal life correct so um, uh, currently uh, we are uh, mainly working on the uh, service design for scale okay so the uh, where how we can really uh, scale up the service design processes for something like a large if we want to do something in support current situation like public distribution system for yeah. example okay, okay? So which really need like in india it's like uh, currently so looking at the population we need to really see that how the service design, services which can applied for the scale complexity and the diversity which exist in india also while doing that we also because in india service design is still in, in the initial inception stage how we can really uh, take it to the scale so we are also working on is that in companies like a tcs or other how we can really scale up the service design effort itself but, but now, now yes please yeah, just one, yeah. so now we are also looking at how we can use the technology to make it happen because yes. if this social distancing type of thing is continue i think we have to live with covid type of situation and uh, we will see that how we can digital so we might not get a chance to work in a physical uh, design studio so can we think of a virtual design studio yeah. without losing the uh, good things of a physical design studio yeah you're right i i have to say that maybe it is your same experience in um, in my experience in this uh, last uh, three months uh i understood that, that there are uh, platforms for live uh, live uh, chatting and live uh, conference that are perceived as cold and others that are perceived as warmer so in a way i don't know I'm not an expert in that, but I understood, and 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 in a way, I I agree that there are some systems which are cold in their very in the way we interact, and in the way they allow us to interact with the others, while others that apparently are almost the same are much warmer. Yeah. So te technology is very very uh, sophisticated. Uh, and uh, how can we warm up <laughs> in a way technology to make it uh, a support for the our social life how can we really uh, make it uh, kind of uh, a mm, friend in our uh, uh, way of living uh, even more technologically correct correct yeah so uh, um... 
what i uh, feel is that uh, we have to look at the technology as just the means and not the end goal it cannot uh, replace the all our uh, human interactions and although the how much the uh, technology gets matured or uh, get an advanced but uh, depending on the situation we can reduce the uh, dependency on uh, having the direct connects and all uh, in yeah. a physical environment but it cannot be completely replaced because there are a lot of things the vibe so uh, the vibes when we talk with suppose user when we are interviewing somebody the what the vibes we get actually on the digital platform i at least at, till now i don't see that those vibes coming up because i, I think those intuitions and vibes are very critical I, till now i don't see any technological solution for that yeah so we we there is room for research in that uh, in that uh, in that area yeah and uh, uh, since we, uh, we 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 only have 4 minutes uh, and we have in a way to to um, to come to a conclusion uh, okay so uh, you know in in maybe you know that in uh, in our countries in uh, in latin we have an expression which is carpe diem and carpe diem uh, means uh, uh, make the most from uh, the present time because uh, we don't know about the future because uh, in a way the future doesn't uh, depend on us. Uh, well, actually, uh, as designers, we, in, we believe we can design the future. So <laughs> uh, we, we have this attitude. Uh, what would you see uh, designer uh, in, a few, in a few years or in a few months? What would you like to design? So uh, I feel that uh, um, we have, a, a, as a designer, we have a greater role to play. We can see that the, whatever the good things we have acquired as part of this current situation, how we can uh, really uh, carry forward those things. And if you ask me personally, I really uh, want to uh, re-look really at the um, <clears throat> service design process and see that how we can in such a challenging time how we can really use it and for that uh, uh, i'm uh, planning to work with uh, one of the ngo who works in the rainwater harvesting and all those situations so uh, that may help us to create some uh, type of employment so that is my uh, current uh, personal level but at the larger level we are looking at the um, revisiting the uh, different methodologies and tools and then see that how we can quickly uh, adjust to those uh, uh, new situations and also important thing what I felt is that if we really want to make this happen and want companies to implement it I think we have to impress them about doing some business impact connection with what are the design interventions we are suggesting so I am also want to look at and work towards that that how we can connect the design intervention to the business impact directly or indirectly so that the adoption from the implementer perspective will be more and all our designers ideas will get realized on ground and it will benefit the users as well as the uh, citizens at a larger scale okay i yeah i agree it's uh, as, as designers we we are always optimistic about the future and we are always proactive most of all so i really i really think this is our attitude um Ravi, our time is over. Uh, I have to tell you goodbye, bye-bye. And uh, mm -hmm. to leave the, thank you for your time. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. And